Hello, this is Hakka the Bean, and today we are going to be reading SCP-419. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this. Item number, SCP-419. Object Class Safe. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-419 is to be kept within a steel alloy frame. Alloy is 980EXHSLA e and attached to its accommodating wall space. No covering or casing is present. SCP-419 currently resides in a room inside Site-33 with dimensions of 3 meters by 5 meters by 4 meters. All of the walls in a containment unit and including the one beside SCP-419, are made of a, a mesh of plastic, steel, and concrete. On the north-facing wall of the containment room is a viewing bay. Note that there is no physical barrier between the viewing bay and SCP-419, leading to another room with the same dimensions. Two guards are positioned outside of the containment room near the viewing bay and are authorized to use lethal force. They shift every three hours. SCP-419 must be cleaned daily with ordinary window cleaning supplies. Any personnel tasked with maintenance must not suffer from acrophobia. Constant monitoring of SCP-419 must take place from a viewing bay in order to ensure that the view through SCP-419 does not change significantly. In the event that it does, contact site director redacted. Access to SCP-419 is prohibited except under special circumstances and permission from site director. Description SCP-419 is a large pane of reinforced glass 1.5 meters by 3.6 meters by 7.6 centimeters in dimensions. On each side of SCP-419, one side of SCP-419 does not allow light to pass through. Instead, it displays a view of what appears to be an extra-dimensional urban environment. This phenomenon is only present when viewed directly by a human subject. Photographs, motion sensors, and vision-enhancing objects such as glasses or contacts all act on SCP-419 as if it were a mirror. The scene viewed through SCP-419 appears to be outside, but lacks any natural lighting regardless of the time it is viewed. No superterrestrial life forms such as celestial bodies are visible. The view would appear to originate from a vantage point high above ground level. Approximately 800 lux of light emanates from SCP-419 despite the lack of a light source. The source of this phenomenon is derived from whatever environment SCP-419 displays. Light from SCP-419 in its testing chamber does not affect this scene. The buildings visible through OSP-419 appear similar to those of the Victorian architecture world period. However, they tend to have unusual, almost imperceptible changes that make them appear warped or twisted or occupying, or occupying space they should not. Much if not all of the viewing area through SCP-419 is non-Euclidean. Estimates of the size of the city vary depending on when it is viewed and have ranged from approximately 12 square kilometers to over 60. A multitude of neon lights and signs have been noted but are not on in any known language. Organisms have been viewed walking, albeit only en masse due to their relatively small size. Their actual size is currently unknown due to the lack of a scale. They appear to be humanoid and dark red in color, however the lack of available or computerized assistance and the obvious flaws of the human eye does not allow for a higher level of detail to be ascertained. Due to their seemingly advanced level of technology, the running theory among researchers is that this is not their actual skin color, but rather their clothing. Prior to Incident 419B, obsolete. Occasionally, large metallic constructs have been viewed moving through the streets, followed by large masses of humanoids. 
During these occasions, such processions compose all of the visible movement within the, a city. Dr. Redact notes that these processions are highly reminiscent of military marches due to their extremely geometric nature and constant pace. After Incident 419b, following Incident 419b, the entire landscape viewed through SCP-419 has changed drastically. Many of the buildings appear to be lit or on fire or smoldering. Much of the ground is covered in rubble. There is almost no visible movement from the previously described red humanoids. However, what appear to be similarly shaped dark blue humanoids have been observed performing similar processions. Approximately redacted percent of the buildings consistently observed before Incident 419b have collapsed. The visibility has also been significantly obscured by an opaque gas, theorized to be smoke. Upon closer inspection, a multitude of dark gray figures are, are visible in the street, or remain stationary. The implications of this event are unknown. Note from September 27th, I'm guessing 2013. Yeah, these are old. SCP-419 seems to be aging at an or abnormally fast rate. We currently believe this is due to the atmosphere on the other side, though we obviously cannot test it to know for sure. At this speed, SCP-419 could become non-functional as soon as 2019. What this will mean, we do not yet know. And that was SCP-319, Window to a World. If you liked this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And this was attempt one of recording this video. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!